Just got back from a three and a half mile run. Still cold out on 18 today. And we got some snow over the weekend. So a little slippery, a little ice. It was warm, so it melted. So there's a little ice, like black ice patches around. So you have to be careful. Look out for that if you're out in the cold. Um, I ran in my on cloud flies. So I'm going to um, do a review today. But you know what? shoes I have, what I wear, what I like about them, what I don't. Um, just my opinion, personal preference. You might love these shoes, might not love these shoes. Doesn't matter, It's everyone's individual, so it's whatever you like or whatever you have. So, I mean, don't think you need anything special to start or go running, because you don't. You just need something that works well with you and your feet. And also just go out and do it and have a good time, enjoy it, so. Here are the shoes I wear. Hello, my name is Scott. And these are my running shoes. I want to give you a little background story on what the shoes are, why I got them, so forth. I'm going to start off with these. They are Under Armour Bandits 3. I bought these actually to do a 20 mile walk for hunger in Boston because I thought I needed something good, light. Things I like about them, toe box, really big. I find it fits good for my shoes. I got good grip in the hole. The only downside I have is when it's damp or wet out, gets a little slippery. So it's okay, dry pavement. I actually really love them, pretty worn out. Put a lot of walking miles on them, not so much running. So I decided when I started running last year to upgrade and I upgraded to these Brooks Launch 5s. And I actually saw they had the Ghost 10s at the time, but I they didn't have it in my size. So I decided to go with the Launch 5. Um, I'm not saying they're a bad shoe. I think the traction on them is fantastic. I've had some issues with, I seem to get shin splints whenever I run in them. And this happened right away and my mileage went right down. I ended up having to rest and everything. Um, if there's something you like, that's great. I haven't actually found them to be the best shoe for me. So I haven't put a lot of miles on them, but I mean, every foot, every shoe is different, so you need to really dig in and find what's best for yourself and get that. So at that point, I was having some issues, wasn't sure what to do. So I actually went to Marathon Sports in Boston. If you've seen the Boston Marathon, it ends right by this store. So I went in there. They said I overpronate a bit, and they gave me a couple of choices. One was a pair of New Balances, which I liked, or these other unusual shoes called Ons, and they're made from Switzerland. Um, heard great things about them, heard them on podcasts and people talking about them. So I ended up going, I'm gonna give them a try. And if you can see, <laughs> I've put like over 425 miles on them. They're due to be replaced. Going to a running store is one of the best decisions I ever made. You always hear the people say, oh, go pay a little extra, go talk to an expert, definitely do it. It turns out I was actually getting a size, half size too small. Now, so I'm wearing a nine, but I really should be in a nine and a half. And, you know, just, just getting these shoes made a huge difference in my running. They were a little more than I really wanted to spend, but it wasn't like, you know, when I bought the Brooks, I like them, they're okay. I don't wear them that often, so I did save a lot of money because I got them at a discount place, but because I don't wear them that much, was it really worth saving a few dollars on them? So then the last one, which I actually got at a discount place, I got these Nike Downshifter 9s. These I like too. Actually, I ran my fastest 5K in these, they're good, there's, lo there's less cushioning than the Ons, but I like them, they're pretty good. I did run in them on Sunday, and I did 
13 miles in them. And it was actually, it was a little much cause they are a neutral shoe and I kind of need more of a stability shoe when I'm running that far. But uh, besides that, I find them very quick. They're actually what I would wear, you know, if I was gonna run a 5K, a 10K, I'd definitely pick these. I found it definitely made a big difference in my time over like running in the ons. But I definitely get another pair of these. They were fantastic. I really enjoyed them. Um, it, the Nikes are great too. I did like the Under Armors. I did find them in another store. I think it was at the mall, but they wanted like almost a hundred dollars for them. And they're like 2015 model shoes. So it seemed a little pricey for a five year old shoe. So I didn't do that, but uh, keep running. If you have any questions, let me know. Let me know what shoes you're wearing. Put it down in the comments below. Uh, what you like about your shoes, maybe the stuff you don't like. Uh, do you need a stability shoe like I do? Um, if not, do the neutrals work great for you? You know, what brands do you like? There's different, there's all kinds of brands out there and it's fantastic. So um, keep running, enjoy it, and do it so you enjoy it. Don't do it because you feel you have to. It's not work, it's fun, and it's great. See you next time. Bye.